All right, guys, welcome back to Break 75, episode number 13. Now, 13 can often be unlucky for some people. However, I'm not feeling unlucky at all today because I'm, it's a beautiful day, the sun is shining, it's about seven o'clock in the morning, and we are down here at Wallasey Golf Club on the Wirral. Only down the road from Royal Liverpool where they open is next year, we're gonna do a Break 75 here today. Now you might have seen at the end of last episode, I gave you a little, a little teaser. Break 75 is not going to stop. We're gonna continue making them. It might not be every single week, but we're gonna do our best to make them as many episodes as possible. Now this place is steeped in history. And I'll tell you as we play the golf course as well. Playing with Guy today, I'm looking forward to this. Honestly, it looks quite simply spectacular. Without further ado, it's going break 75. Now this guy is famous here, Dr. Frank Stableford. I'll tell you a little bit more about that on the second tee. Last time you saw me hit a golf shot was the 18th green at Dunham Forest. I've not hit a single golf shot since that. <laughs> so let's continue flying right. First hole, par four, 362 yards. Couple of bunkers down there at about 210, 220. Ideally, you want to just stay right of those. Right, play well, guy. And you, mate. Should be okay. That's the fast, the fast lane down there. Good strike. That should be short, I'm guessing. Nice little kick right. Strong start. There's a couple of things I really like about traditional golf clubs. I love the fact you tee off right there in front of the clubhouse. Yeah. Like it's almost like when they were building it, they went, well, where should we put the first tee? We'll just stick it there. Yeah. Stick it there straight outside the door. I love the fact this putting green is just down here next to the first tee. Now, talking about the first hole as well, the reason why a lot of you watching play a certain type of format of golf. A guy by the name of Dr. Frank Stableford played this first hole, and let's say it didn't quite go to plan. And on the second hole, he decided to change things that would shape the world of golf forever. The club. Right. Kind of good. Second shot, 135 yards to the pin. Let's get a nice little wedge. Just in the just in the rough, but nothing dangerous. I think just left side of that pin would be the spot to go for. Go well, straight at it. I thought I was actually going to be really good there. I don't actually know how it, my, my golf ball's finished there. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Surely it pitched on the green. So my ball has finished back right. Guy's perfect pin high, got a nice look at birdie. Mine must have pitched. It's actually pitched there. Oh, that's unlucky with a wedge. It's pitched there and then it's, how's it got all that's the way over the there? That's just the down, out of the rough. That little bit lower spin, it just took a big bounce. Wow, yeah, you'd need to, need to be able to gauge that. These greens, oh my goodness. Different level, that white cups. It's perfect. Look how good that cup is, how neat it is. And that white paint around it. That is Phil. Just over the back, I've got this almost a grass bunker as such to get over. Two options. I can go low, run it through the valley, or I can get wedge out and flick it onto the green. We're going to go wedge. Oh my days. Not bad. This is a new Rick Shields. He would put that all day long until about three weeks ago. His confidence has just gone like that. Good to see. That was a great shot. Wonderful pole. That's all good. <laughs> Thick. And I'm not, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> Thick and woody. <laughs> Bad stroke. Okay, so for an up and down on the first, boost the confidence. Yes. Confidence boosted. <laughs> Lovely. Big boost. Oh, guy. Confidence unboosted. <laughs> so picture the scene. Many, many years ago, Dr. Frank Stableford 
finishes that hole and he has a nightmare. He thinks, well, what is the point in carrying on? He's playing stroke play, which you know, it's a lot of the time tournament professional golf gets played stroke play. And in a lot of situations, match play is now a huge format, one against one or two against two. But if you were just to go out and have a nightmare on the first hole, your scorecard's wrecked, it's finished. And Dr. Frank didn't want any of that. Let's come over here. He was a clever man, very clever. So he decided to come up with a format, which right here is a plaque. Dr. Frank Stableford devised his points scoring system. The first Stableford competition was played here at Wallasey on 16th of May, 1932. Now, I know actually some of the guys over in the States, you don't play Stableford, but it's a phenomenal format, certainly played here a lot in the UK. It's a point scoring system. If you get a net par, you get two points. Net birdie, you make three points. Net eagle, you make four points. Net bogey, you only make one. And anything worse than a net bogey, you just make zero points and you move on to the next hole. So it means your scorecard isn't absolutely destroyed if you have a nightmare on the first hole. Thank you, Dr. Frank, because I think uh, you've saved a lot of people's heartache and pain when they're playing golf. <laughs> Right, second hole, par four. Decent length, 453 yards. It's a bit of a dogleg to the left. The right, sorry. Uh, I'm just going to try and split the fairway. Oh, that looks like a money shot. Might be a tiny bit too much. Yeah, great ball. Perfect. Right, second shot. I've found the rough on the right hand side. Not the best shot, to be honest. I'm 180 yards away from the green. Just had a look, the pin's protected by a bunker. I'm gonna get a five iron, soft five iron. Right there. Okay, so just at the side of the green, I must admit from where I was, I'm very happy with that. So down the hill, quite a bit left to right. Let's nestle it nice and close. Pretty good, nice speed. Very solid. Thank you. Okay, third hole, an absolute stunning hole. Through the sand dunes. It possibly isn't driver, but you've just got to hit a super straight shot with whatever club you're going to hit. So Rick absolutely crushed his drive there. It looks so effortless, such a good swing. I've actually hit a really good one as well. I cut mine, I've got to stay on this bank, so makes it a lot more difficult. You can see the ball is so much above my feet, it's going to want to swing to the left. So we're going to grip down a 9-9, aim at the right side of the green, and just trust that this shape of this hill will bring it back to the target, well, to the flag. Oh, nearly, it's a bit heavy. It's got enough, it could be okay. Get up. Hmm, not great. How far did you have then? 156. I'm going to hit just a nice little eight iron. Stop drawing. Bad shot. Okay, so I landed on the green, but I must admit it was a poor strike. It had too much draw spin and it spun down this bank. Let's just get a little wedge on this and just uh, See if we get a nice little up and down again. Ricky's learned how to chip. <laughs> that was a good golf shot. Nice. Three holes, three up and downs. Two of the two with wedges. What? What's going on? Okay, you ready for the uh the piece de la resistance. <laughs> you sold this hole, so excited. As we get up onto this tee on the fourth hole, it's the highest point on the golf course, and you really do get quite a spectacular view. It's short of them. <laughs> so looking forward to this tee shot and then I pulled it left. Now it's not horrendous, but 
there's a middle line that splits the middle of the fairway and that's really what I was aiming for. I pulled it, it got 20 yards left of that, but never mind, it's safe. Par five. Oh, that just rejected it. A bit more. To be honest, you reckon it should be on tour? Okay, so after just pulling it slightly in the rough and I've not got the best line in the world, I know you're not going to like this, everybody. I'm laying up. I know, I know. Listen, stop with the booze. Stop. I'm going to go seven iron, wedge into the green, up and down birdie. I'm just going to go to that bunker on the right-hand side and draw it back in. Oh, really didn't think about a lot about that. That is an absolutely horrendous golf shot. <laughs> I've short-sided myself. I've hit it in the rough. Quite everything on that was absolutely terrible. I should have just gone for it. I almost was so lackadaisical about just laying it up. I didn't give it any thought at all, which didn't work out in my favour there. <laughs> Great strike. Didn't get them caught. I've really short-sided myself. I've got to get over a bunker. I've got to go stopping so quick. Luckily, I'm only 65 yards away. I'm going to go lob wedge, open the face up. Hopefully get it to stop pretty quick. Go. <laughs> oh, I was like two yards away from perfection then, but I'm in this bunker, making hard work of this hole. Call me Seve Shields. Lovely. Four holes played, four up and downs. Fifth hole, par three, 180 yards, back into that beautiful view. Oh, I've got a six iron. Nope. It bounced, that's miles left. Them a little bit. No, it's a little bit skinny, I must admit. Wait, <laughs> up and down king. Ridiculous. Nice. <laughs> okay, straightforward par four here, sixth hole. 360 yards, actually, not a long one at all. So hopefully I can get this fairly close. I feel like I, oh no, I've hit one fairway. I was gonna say, I don't think I've hit a fairway yet, but I've hit one fairway, no greens. Okay, second shot, not far from here at all now. Come on, time to start making some birdies. To be honest, I, I kind of thought that might be the case. I pitched it exactly where I wanted to land it. So I can't, I can't ask them much more really. I've been getting close to while chipping. Par five, seventh hole, 525 yards. It's pretty much dead straight, scattered with bunkers. Sprinklers are going off in the background because I've not had much rain here for a few days. Start it at the church and fade it back. Or I'll just go straight left. I'm gonna have to lay up again, I know. I know, stop it. However, this time I'm gonna think about my layup. I'm on a hill, which isn't comfortable. It's going to affect the ball flight. I'm going to just knock down like an eight iron. Get it in the fairway, get it running. That's really good. Should have a much better look at possibly getting up and down for birdie now. If that's trusted it, that's perfect. I think it's a touch short, actually. Missed on the right all the way. <laughs> yeah, well in. Thank you. Very nice. Making it a little bit harder work than needed. They like, they like the flags. There's a bit of history here. So old Tom Morris designed this green complex. I think he designed maybe six of the greens around here. It's pretty, 
well done, Tom. It's nice. <laughs> it's a good green. Eighth hole, par four, 387 yards. Dog leg slightly to the right, up onto a hill, at those bunkers, and fade it back in. A healy one, but it should work. Stay short, it's short of those bunkers. Oh, it's gobbled him up, I think. You plonker. <sighs> My driver has been poor today. I need to remember this. I aimed at this bunker. I said, I'm going to start at that bunker. I'm going to fade it off this bunker. It went dead straight. I'm 140 yards away. The lip on this is too big. Is it too big to go for the green? Um, let me get in there first and I'll reassess it. If I'm going to go for it, I'm going to hit nine iron, which is quite a lofty club, obviously. Oh, it's just not sat. If it was sat up, on something, I'd give that a bit of a go. But because it's not, I'm gonna have to lay it up, I'm gonna have to play out. But now that I've got outrageous short game skills, I can still make birdie. a nice shot there. I think it actually, at one point, ended up a lot closer. It landed here. It hopped probably to here and then screwed back to there. So we've got a nice look at par. So that's all I could ask for. That was such a good putt as well. Uh, first bogey of the day. Probably deserved one. I gave it a best chance for a par, but one of those things, you're not gonna get up and down for 110 yards every day. Okay, ninth hole, par three. Let's see if we can get a nice little bounce back after that bogey on the last. 147 yards, just a nice solid nine iron. Oh, Rick, irons have been terrible. Oh, that's a horrendous miss. Mm. <laughs> Sit the back of the bank of the uh, green. It's kicked up then the side of the hill. Terrible. Okay, same club, nine iron. Slight little cut into it, I think. Oh, it's out the toe, it's got to go. Yeah, it's on the green. It's okay. Well, I've completely messed this up horrendous miss i didn't realize this green was so kind of upside down saucepan from the tee i've hit the back side of the of the green it kicked it way down here oh this is going to test my uh somewhat fragile short game i'm going to go nine iron at the bottom of the hill and let it chase up the hill and just let hopefully that put the brakes on it I think trying to fly it up on top is going to be too risky. Yeah, couldn't have done much more to be honest. Go on, go on. Oh. Okay. For par, to finish the nine, one over par. Oh, did that not break? Oh, God, that was a good putt. Two over, front nine. That's probably the score that I should be. After a lot of good up and downs on that front nine, I've not particularly hit my driver well. I've not particularly hit my irons well. I've hit my wedges, my chip shots and my putts well. So I think two overs about fair. Back nine. Let's try and get this drive and these irons working. Let's try and make some birdies. Right, it's so this hole, number 10. I think you can go driver or you can hit an iron to the bottom. I haven't got the minerals for driver. Rick has. Five iron for me, down to the bottom, play it like a proper two shotter. Hopefully Rick can get on in one and get a little eagle. Worst case bird. Yeah, good shot. Annoyed my two bogeys I've just made, so <laughs> this is a venom shot. 
Oh, it's too far left. Keep your eyes on it, it's going to be in that store. Oh, you've oh. got a, That is a, a lucky man. <laughs> Just put a bit of backspin on that driver. It's pitched into the... It's pitched into the thick stuff and bounced back down. <laughs> I won't say it, but when it's your day, it's your day. It's a little bit thin, but it could be in the hole. Get up. Good? It is good! Okay, so I got very, very lucky there. It landed in this stuff and somehow hopped out. I believe guys hit a close one. I'm 80 yards away. Probably playing 75. Simmer. I hit mine before Matt the cameraman got here, which is fine, and it's pretty close. Hopefully, <laughs> it's a tap in birdie. I was too close to the green. Really, I should have been hitting driver. I could have got driver here. It was left to right. I didn't quite trust it. Go on, guy. First bit of birdie sauce for the day. Very nice. Well done, pal. Good Thank up you. and down. Cheers. Starting the back nine strong. Path four, 11th hill, 406 yards. Kind of goes down and back up the hill. Just a pretty much dead straight hole. Hmm. Might be dead. I've heard provisional. Can't get that cut at all today. This is proper, proper, proper thick. And then it's more thick. I've lost it. It was literally heading right into here. And when I say this is thick, it is super, 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 super thick. Annoyingly, we found two golf balls in this area here. Neither of them were mine. Ah, oh, three off the tee. I'm making this hard work all of a sudden. Let's hope we can try and get up and down from here for a damage limitation. That's fat, that's way short. <laughs> Not quite sure how it got there. Let's get these in, Rick. That's looking good. It's got about three foot of break in it. Just got to get it over the hill and roll in. Let's hope we can sneak this one in. So much break. That is the first double bogey in a very, very long time. Par three, 12, stunner. Little downhill. Green is small and protected by five massive bunkers. Two right, two left, one short. Clever design. 165 yards, not a breath of wind, luckily. Eight iron? Yep, eight iron for me. Do the right club. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is, as long as it's enough club, that's perfect. Oh, wow. it's really nice now. That's a brilliant shot. <laughs> it's really nice now. Brilliant shot. Took a little, a little member's bounce off the back of the bunker. That's great. Okay, for birdie, first of the day. There's not a lot in this, almost dead straight put. <sighs> ah, a little bit annoyed with that. Nice iron shot, first, first actual good iron shot all day. Would have got me back to three over par with this 13th hole, a very easy par five coming up. Ah, need to make two birdies coming home. Let's make one here, and then we've just got to make one more. Oh no. It somehow bounced, but I cannot get my driver going at all today. It's been so strong recently, but today it's eluded me. Okay, so I found it in the right rough. It's actually not too bad. It's a bit wispy, this stuff, so it can either sometimes dig in and hide or kind of sit up and luckily I've got option two this time. 250 yards away. I feel like it's almost sat up enough that I can maybe get three wood on it. Or is that silly? Is that stupid? <laughs> I 
I'm 2.30 away from the green. Yeah, I'll go three wood. Okay, let's do this. I can just see the top of the flag. That is over the hill on that bunker. It's not a bad hit, but it just went straight left on me. Hopefully we can find it over there. Oh, starting to make hard work of this round. I was cruising at one point, and now I feel like I'm doing my best just to stay afloat. Need to make two birdies. This is a, this is a key one, this par five, because I don't think, let me double check. Oh, wow. This hole and the next are two par fives. So I need to birdie this and ideally birdie the next. Right, we found it left side of the green. Not particularly easy shot here. I'm gonna try and run it up the bank. Guys hit a wonder shot. Any, anything inside that I'd be delighted with. It's it snagged as well. I just didn't hit that with any real commitment annoyingly right now I'm making it hard I've got to get up and down for par now ah it's gone I'm gonna chip it again ah Wow, how to rack up a golf score 101. Oh! Ho -ho! Is that a double? <laughs> I didn't know what that was there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five over par now. Three birdies needed. I really messed up that hole. Remember my mistake? Three wood for my second shot. That was my mistake. Sure fault. Sure fault. All right, driver. I'm just gonna smash it. Okay, second shot into this par five. I've got 190 to the front, 200 to the flag. I feel like I just need to breathe for a minute. Those last two holes, those last three holes. The double bogey, the missed birdie put on the par three. And that really silly bogey. I know it was a good putt, but that annoyed me. Anyway, forget that. Eagle here. Six high, middle of the green. Let it work its way round to the flag. Oh, I've thinned it. Get lucky, get lucky, get lucky, get lucky. Bunker. Really not. I did say this episode was going to be unlucky, didn't I? 13, episode 13. I thought it might... Bring some bad luck. I feel like I'm getting it today. One of those slightly frustrating days when it's not going your way. It's not going your way. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm going to play that. Oh my God. And you're right saying you shouldn't be in here. I know I shouldn't be in here, but. Oh, honestly, don't know how I'm going to play this. I can't actually play it. You know how Frank Stableford's got some plaques around there and old Tom Morris? I want one put in here, right there. Rick got up and down, well, hopefully up and down. Rick escaped the impossible bunker shot. For the most incredible up and down, I will be over the moon if this went in. This would, this would cheer me up tremendously well. For birdie, 
Come on, Rick. Deserves it. <sighs> Rascal. <laughs> Such a good putt as well. Oh, damn. 15th, par four, 352 yards, and a slight dog leg to the left. I feel like, a, even though I need birdies, I feel the more I'm hitting driver, the less I have a chance I'm making birdies. So I'm gonna hit three iron and try and just draw one down there. Should be good, not too much. Perfect, great shot. Great strike. That was as good as I can hit a golf ball. Got 150 to the flag, but it is uphill and a little bit of breeze hurting us. So I'd normally want to go nine iron, but I don't want to land this short, obviously. So I'm going to go for an eight. Looking good. Great strike. Yeah, nice shot. It's going to be pretty good. 127, slightly uphill. The green's on a plateau. Let's try and stick this 50 degree cl wedge close. Travel. Half a chance for birdie up the hill, right to left. Come on. Try and hold one at least today. Had to break. I, there's a lot of putts I've hit today that felt really good. They're just not quite dropped. Okay, three holes to go. Par three, 16th, 203 yards. Um, I, need, I need to, me personally, need to make three birdies, three holes to shoot 74. So, chances. <laughs> that's what I gotta do. So that's what I gotta do, that's what I'll do. If that stays there, that's money. Need to go forward though. Oh my word. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> wow. That was been close to going in. That looked that was an amazing close. golf shot. Is that six? Yeah. That's a great hit. That did look close. My heart stopped for a minute then. I'll be honest, Rick, I'm going to put this up there. We, we've played a number of like open venues recently, which is awesome. Privileged to do so. This is up there for me. Yeah. It's unreal. It's what do you think? It's spectacular, isn't it? I, you know, I've. I said I played it once many, many years ago, probably seven or eight years ago, and it wasn't a particularly nice day. It might have been the off season, and I probably didn't appreciate how beautiful it is. And it is absolutely stunning. One of my favourite golf courses in the whole world is Trump International in Aberdeen. Yeah, I know, get a bit of stick, but it is, it's spectacular. This almost feels like a mini version of it. Like every hole, what I love about somewhere like um, Trump International is the fact that every hole feels separate and it's unique and it's almost like an amphitheater. This feels similar to that. It's absolutely mega. It'd have been even more mega if that tee shot would have gone in. It probably looking back at the drone footage, it was miles away, but it had a look in the hole at least. Okay, for the first birdie of the day. <sighs> Never mind. Okay, 17th, par four, 452 yards. Uh, come on, let's find one fairway today. Would be nice with the driver. Oh, he's done it. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's just perfect. A little cut onto the centre line of the fairway. Yeah, that's really good. That was mullered. Best, best drive too. Okay, second shot into the 17th. 142 yards. I'm going to hit a pitching wedge because I think the pin's very much at the front. If it spins, that's phenomenal. Oh, that's gotta be good. That looked brilliant. It was just thin enough to get there as well. It was like that kind of nippy, thinny shot, which should be good. I've got to say today, this is probably the most confident I've felt on the golf course for over a year, comfortably. It's just somewhat frustrating that normally my strength in my game, which is my driving, and it normally is, has kind of been the thing that's not been fully on fire today. I feel like if I got my driver well, and my irons haven't been phenomenal, my wedges, my short game, my putting has been very, very solid, which is not normally where I'd see my strength being. Isn't it funny that, eh? Golf, it's got a way to giveth with one hand and taketh away with the other. 
and that's what's happened today. Played this hole to perfection. Nice drive, good iron shot. Gonna finish it with a nice, a nice little birdie. The first one of the day. I needed, an, I needed a handful more of them today, but it's nice to actually not leave this golf course without a birdie today. That would have been annoying. No. Okay. I really struggle with an approach. So the good news is, I've got to make eagle on the last to break 75. This ain't done yet. We've still got time. <laughs> it's just annoying, it's a par four. But, stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. Eighteenth hole. Very interesting one. Plays back towards the clubhouse. It's 430 yards. Okay, come on. Not too much. That's right. money. Yeah, good strike. Probably the best strike of the day. After a, an okay drive, I've put myself on this hill up here on the right hand side so I can actually see the pin because everything left would probably be quite a blind shot. Okay, to finish, hold this out. To finish with a 74. That's the goal. Not without strike. Oh, <laughs> that was a disaster. That's missed green miles left. It's gone in the real funky stuff. Ah, all that green to aim at and I've pulled it. I, my full wedge shots, well, not my full wedge shots, my full shots, iron shots have been very, very poor today. They really let me down. <laughs> so granted, I've hit a terrible shot there. Horrendous. It's hit off this bank. It's ran up here and it's ended here. Come and look at this. I've never seen anything like it in my life. It's floating. It's floating. It's a floater. We've found ourselves a floater. It's literally held up in the grass. My worry is for you, concern, you stand in. Well, not even that, when you get in that grass, the ball's gonna move. Realistically now, hitting the golf ball is good. Anything past this rough is A star. It's absolutely horrendous. I think just give it a bit, try and hit it into that bank if you can and just let it do what it does. Guys, like the video for that golf shot. That is honestly 10 out of 10. Feels like a trick shot. It was. I should join the Brian Bros. I don't know if Cameron <laughs> will do that justice, but seriously, that was incredible. It was oh, literally mate. floating Nailed in the it. air. Yeah, was I, don't, I don't quite know how I got to that. Right, for par. Not the finish I wanted, but it'd be nice to hold a put after that trick shot. Oh, it's really good there for speed as well. No. Nice roll. Very good. Well, thanks, pal. Well played, mate. Good thanks, buddy. I enjoyed that. You know what? I was saying before, genuinely, right now, I've shot a 77, which I know is not break 75, but I felt as comfortable and as confident I have on a golf course for a long time, which is good signs to come. Wallace, you've been phenomenal. Right up there, one of my favourite places I've ever played right now. I know I say that a lot, but I seriously mean it this time. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you each week every week, almost every week, with a brand new break to me five. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>